Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year 2017. I am so excited that we are finally in a new year. I'm healthy and blessed and just happy and I hope all of you guys are too. I had a lot of fun this new year's festive party time and if any of you guys want to see what I did, then I did create a new vlog channel and I will leave a link to that down below for any of you guys that want to follow me around and just see what my life is all about but in today's video i am going to be doing my january glossy box unboxing that i received a couple days ago now but i'm so excited to share this with you guys because the last box that i got i was really really happy with and if you guys haven't watched that then i will leave that link down below as well but if you guys are interested in seeing what i got for the month of january then just keep on watching Okay, so it was just a little bit harder than I expected to open this box, but I finally got it open and right on top is an information sheet that has all of the products listed that are in the box. And right here in the corner, it also says enter to win. So they do have a giveaway going on for the month of January. And basically what you do is write your 2017 goals or resolutions on the box with a Sharpie. And once you decorate the box, then you're going to share it on your social media. It doesn't really specify what form of social media they want it to be but it does say to hashtag glossy goals and glossy box usa to enter the giveaway and two lucky winners will be winning a gold ipad air so that is super amazing for any of you guys that are subscribed already then you guys can easily enter this contest but let's go ahead and move on to the box okay so this is what the box looks like it says a glossy box right on top and it's just a very pretty peachy pink pastel color all around that pretty much gives you enough space for you to decorate it and just write all of your goals all over it and enter the giveaway if that's what you want to do but let's go ahead and see what's inside Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. It has a Sharpie marker right on top, which you can use to decorate your box. And then all of the items are inside this pink tissue paper that has the glossy box sticker and a black ribbon. And then all of the inside has this black decor with the glossy box logo in that peachy pink color. So super cute. I'm still obsessing over the boxes. I feel like they're just so cute and you can store so many things in them and just use them as decor pieces. So I love the boxes, but let's go ahead and see what's inside. Okay. Okay, so right on top I see my first item and this is the exfoliating body scrubber with smart technology and this is by the brand daily concepts and it says clinically allergy and dermatologist tested and then there's this little dial thing at the bottom where it says gentle mild and vigorous so mine is mild but I honestly have never heard of this brand before I never knew what it was I don't really use body scrubbers in this form I usually use that little like fluffy ball type of thing as a body scrub so this is gonna be my first time trying out one of these and for what it looks like I think it's a full-size product I don't see why it would be any bigger so I'm gonna double check on that in a little bit but yeah this is basically what my first item is now the second thing in here is this mask scrub and this is by the brand I want to say it's pronounced La Fiori des Volcans Paris I have never heard of this brand either and I'm sure I didn't even pronounce that right but it's basically just a face scrub so the next thing in here is this cleansing cream and this is a foam free hair wash by the brand AG Hair Care and this is actually a brand that I've also never heard of before and the bottle actually came broken it well not broken it came open so it made a mess on all of that loose tissue paper and I don't know if you guys can see but it's like all messy and crusty and dry right here where the cap is um, so yeah it's messy and I can definitely smell it it has a mixture of essential oils so if any of you guys like you know the natural essential oils scents then you'll definitely like this I have a lot of hair care products that I still need to try out and because of that I'm not super hyped about getting this but I don't know I can't be too picky because what if I do love it what if I try it and it's the most amazing product ever <laughs> so if that's the case then I am gonna be so excited to have received this um, but yeah, I've never tried it before, never heard of it before, so I am going to give it a try. And this definitely looks like a sample size. And I did forget to mention that this one also looks like a sample size. I don't, I don't know. Could it be a sample size? Could it not? I think it is because most bottles, I think, 
are full size like this so i do want to say this is a sample size but we will confirm this at the end now the next thing in here looks to be a eye cream and this says i love eye contour which is a anti-dark circle and a puffiness antioxidant 100 percent natural and this is by the brand Ulution balances my skin so i also have never heard of this brand before and i actually have a eye cream that i'm currently loving and obsessed with so this has to have really high expectations for me to love it because there's already something else that i'm using and i love so i am gonna have to give this a try and get back to you guys and see how i like it but looking at the size of this i think this is a full size and now the very last thing in the box is this secret flush soothing cream blusher and lip stain duo and this is by the brand ub cosmetics made in taiwan never heard of them before never even knew this was a cosmetic line but this is what the little tube looks like out of the box it's a really cute tube with adorable polka dots on top and then here at the center it has the brand logo but i am not sure how i feel about it i'm not a huge fan of cream blushes when i do use cream blushes it's super rare and i have to do the whole cream makeup like i have to do the cream contour the cream highlight and it's really rare super rare actually when i actually do choose to do all of that but i don't know i'm gonna do a swatch of it and i don't know maybe i'll fall in love with it so here is a swatch of it and i don't know if you guys are able to see or if the camera is capturing it but this blush has a lot of shimmer in it and i'm honestly not a fan i mentioned multiple times before that i am not a fan just of shimmery blushes just because it just brings out a lot in your cheeks it accentuates like the pores and like blemishes and i don't like shimmer and then cream i think it's super rare like i don't see myself really going for this at all i don't know i just i'm not a huge cream person i'm more of just like the powders like this is one of my favorite blushes and this is by milani and it's an amazing amazing matte powder I don't know should i should i try it on yeah you know what i'm gonna give it a try just because i'm swatching it why not put it on my cheek so we'll see how well it does on my cheek okay so it's not that bad like it could have been worse just because it did seem to have a lot of shimmer when I did do a hand swatch, but I don't know. I feel like I can make it work. Like when I do go for the full glam and cream contour and all of that major makeup transformation. So it's not that bad. I can make it work and also want to give it a try as a lip stain just because it's such a beautiful light pink and it also smells like candy. Oh, it just smells so good and I would totally rock this just on my lips So I'm gonna go ahead and take this lipstick off and give this a try All right guys, so this is what it looks like and on my lips I feel like you guys can actually see how much shimmer there really is in this product And I really like it because it's not too much like shimmer as a lip product like on my cheeks i feel like it's way too much but on my lips i feel like it's just perfect like almost gives it a little bit more of a natural pinky rosiness with just a little bit of shimmer so i really do like it as a lip so i'm definitely going to be using this as a lip product all right guys so that was the last product in my box so now i'm going to go ahead and read off my information sheet so i can tell you guys which products will full size which ones were not um also give you guys price points and then tell you what the total value of the box was so the first item that is on my list is the ag hair cleansing cream foam which is this little guy but on my paper it says that this is a full size and it's 24 dollars and it's a 12 ounce which clearly this is not it because this is only two fluid ounces and this is definitely not a full size product so this this is not good <laughs> i have no idea this is obviously a sample size and i have no idea what the price point to value of this and they told me they sent me a full size 
Okay, so that is definitely wrong and I have no idea what that value truly is. Now the next thing in here was the potion face scrub and this is this little guy and this says to be full size for $32 one fluid ounce. So yes, this is one fluid of an ounce, but I don't know, for a mask scrub, I feel like this is not a full size. Like I have my cleanser and this is full size. This to me looks like a sample size, but they say it's a full size. I mean, it could be. But after that first mistake, I I don't know. I feel like they sent me the wrong product again. But yeah, $32 for this itty bitty little thingy. Okay, so now the next item on the list is the eye cream. And this one is this little tube. And this one is a full size for $37. Like, that's expensive. Especially for something that I have never heard of before. Um, it must be really, really good for that price. So... I can't be too harsh on it because I haven't tried it, but if it is indeed that amazing, then I guess it's worth the $37, but full size product in the box. And now for the exfoliating body scrubber, which is this one, this is $5 for a one piece, which I guess is average, right, for the body scrub. So $5 for this one. And then the last item would be the little blush, which is also a full-size product and it retails at $20. So I feel like with this, it's something that goes by preference and your liking. So if you like cream blushes and something that works as a lip product as well, then this is something I highly recommend just because it smells delicious, it looks really nice on the lips and on the cheeks, okay. But for me, I don't really like cream blushes you know so if it wasn't for the fact that i liked it on my lips then i would never spend 20 dollars on this little thing as a blush but that's just my preference you know but it is a full-size product so according to the note everything added up comes out to 118 dollars so i honestly think that's a great price value considering that this is $20 a month. But the thing that really disappointed me this month was the fact that on the list, it stated that this is a full-size product and clearly it's not. And I don't know if that was just a mistake. Oh, well, first of all, it came open and it was leaked, you know? So the product is kind of all over the box already. Um, it's not full-size and the paper said that it is. So I don't know how much that sample sizes so definitely the full total value of the box isn't really the 118 it comes down tremendously because it's not a full size product so i have no idea how much that is but i will do some research and i will let you guys know in the comment section down below the scrubber the eye cream and the hair product you know it is something that i have to try and see if i really do like but overall i was super disappointed in this box only because Last month, I did the same thing. I did an unboxing and I was just loving everything. I raved about it. I asked you guys for your honest opinion if it was worth really the $20. And some of you guys say yes. And some of you guys were just like, nope, it's just a holiday edition box. But it's kind of like a, I have to try it out. You have to try it out. And everyone has a different experience with it. But yeah, super disappointed in this month's box. I don't really think it was really worth it only because $20 a month is a really good deal to get products in the mail like I love subscription boxes especially that have to do with health and beauty but compared to BoxyCharm because BoxyCharm is also $20 a month and or $21 a month sorry um they have name brands that we all know and love we know the true value of each product and i feel like you're truly getting your money's worth and i feel like this box i didn't so super disappointed i don't know if any of you guys are subscribed to glossy box and what your personal experience is with them but let me know in the comment section down below but that concludes this video you guys i hope you enjoyed my unboxing if you did please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye